Yeah, look, we, we tried doing that um, on a grand scale and we felt that that was losing a lot of the impact that we were trying to have. So we've broken that down into um, smaller groups. Um, so the old thing of how do you eat an elephant, you know, one, one bite at a time. So we've got some people that are really focusing on, say our junior volunteers, and then there'll be a focus on our senior volunteers, our vets, our women's, girls, et cetera. So we've, uh, we've taken a, a view of um, trying to be a little bit more, not micromanaging, but, but making sure we've got the focus in the right areas. As we try and make it a fun environment, and you know our fun, active, and inclusive uh, badge that we we do. We really play on on that and make sure that when people come down, they feel part of it. They're inclusive. Doesn't matter what background they come from. Um, we actively um, give them a, a purpose, and it's fun to do. So that's the the reason for fun, active, inclusive. Every season we train the mentors and provide an education. So it's a couple of hours of sitting down um, with some um, didactic, which means that we sort of educate them about the different needs of the, of the participants. Um, and then also all the other um, details that they might need about the Life Saving Club, about you know where we are here. Um, and then also sort of communication skills, engagement skills, and all those sorts of tips and tricks that we've learned along the way. And what we found um, was in years gone by, a lot of the intellectual property was walking out the door. If they left, i.e. their child's no longer playing here or they're no longer on the committee, whatever. So we've centralised all our files. Um, and uh, so we've got a hub where we've got information that everyone can access. So that if a junior coordinator, for example, is stepping down, someone's coming in, they've got all of the past history, emails, communication, minutes of meetings, etc., accessible to them. But we do make sure that there's a robust handover process so that a new mum or dad who is going, oh, I know nothing about this, don't feel overwhelmed. In our uh, strategic plan that we've built, um, we've got job functions within that strategic plan that has actually been written down yep. and basically when we do we we hand that that strategic plan we go through and we revamp that strategic plan on an, an annual basis and then make sure that we're upgrading their job functions during that period of the year so it's really about again involvement and making sure people are clear and they've got a pathway to achieve their outcomes.